Hey, welcome back to Mashits. As you know, Apple introduced a lot of additional features for CarPlay in latest iOS version. Let's see a couple of them that's going to be very useful while you drive. So when you talk about the CarPlay, there is a primary screen or the CarPlay that's a splitted screen with the majority of the screen is allocated for the map app and there is an additional card that's for the quick menu for the map and the second part of this dashboard is dedicated for the music app the music card will display the current music that you are playing or the last music that you have played so if you tap on it you can see the music that you played last time and the last one dedicated for the calendar app and it will show you if you have any appointment for today. And if you want to get more details about the recent appointment, you can tap on the calendar and you will get the details over there. And in addition to that, there is a menu bar or the sidebar. The first app icon will be always the map app. No matter which map you are using, you can use Google map, Apple map, or Waze or any third party app, whatever the map app you last used, that will display here. And there is an option to display additional two apps. That will be the apps that you recently accessed or opened on CarPlay screen. In addition to that, there is an additional feature that introduced in iOS 15 for the focus mode. And you can see one tiny icon of the car that's indicating that you are in a driving mode. And there is an additional bell icon over there that's indicating for message announcement. And there is an additional Wi-Fi icon to show you the Wi-Fi signal strength. And also you can see the cell phone signal strength next to the time. In the bottom of the sidebar, there is a menu icon which can switch for the dashboard or you can switch to the app screen in addition to that you can see if you switch to your camera then the driving mode and announcement icon move to the bottom and you can see a green tiny dot over there the green dot stands for the camera is enabled on your phone the green dot will replace with an orange dot when you make a call You can have a couple of customization that can be done from the settings. Just to tap on the settings icon from the CarPlay itself. And the first one comes driving focus. That's a pretty useful feature that recently introduced on iOS 15. And the driving focus you can activate with the CarPlay. And there are a lot of other settings that you can add on driving focus. To get the driving mode, get the control center and tap on focus and you see three button menu on the right side. Tap and hold on it to get the settings. Here you go. Or alternatively, you can go to iPhone settings and scroll down for the focus and select driving. In the driving mode, you can select contacts that allow the notifications. Tap on this plus sign and you can add the contacts from your contact list. Similarly, you can also allow the calls while you drive only from the favorites and where you can select that menu for everyone no one favorites or all contacts and there is an additional feature here if anybody try to get you back multiple times by calling repeatedly you can receive those calls and the similar way you can select an auto replay for your messages while you drive tap on this auto replay and instead of favorites you can select all contacts or reasons or no one and you can select the message that you want to display on them when somebody message you while you drive they will get this automatic reply from your phone and you can edit this auto reply message if you want to customize it and the next option here whether you want to automatically turn on this drive mode or not so there are three options there that will automatically detect while you drive or you can use when connected to car Bluetooth. Whenever your phone connect to the Bluetooth of your car, then it will automatically switch to drive mode or you can select manually activate with the CarPlay. Whenever I connect my phone with the lightning port, it will automatically switch to drive mode. The second one is for announcing the message while you drive. When you receive a new message, CD can automatically announce that message while you drive. 456 said your monthly T-Mobile Auto. And also you can reply back to that message without touching your iPhone. Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. You can turn on or off this option here. Let me turn this on and there are a couple of announcement options where you can select to announce only the new messages 
or you can set it to silence new messages you can set carplay to remember the previous settings the third one is for appearance that comes around either you can select a automatic mode or dark mode the next one is wallpaper apple recently introduced a couple of more wallpaper for carplay and unfortunately there is no option to set your own wallpaper yet all of these wallpapers except one can automatically switch to light mode or dark mode based on your selection i hope you are enjoying this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel click on the subscribe button below and press the bell icon for latest updates carplay apps you can see a couple of carplay apps on the dashboard already in addition to that you can remove or add more apps on this carplay screen including the music or map app you can go to your iphone settings general and go to carplay and select the car that you want to add more apps and tap on customize and here you can see under include all the apps that currently displaying on the carplay and if you want to add more apps you can scroll down and from the more apps you can add more apps right from there in addition to that you can rearrange this app based on your request you can arrange all the apps on the carplay screen right from this iphone screen so now the apps will display in the modified order on the carplay screen Apple map bought a lot of features recently with the latest updates. You can get a 3D or 2D view right from this Apple map. You can send an estimated time of arrival ETA to your contact list. You can report if they have any road hazard, crash, or if they have any speed check while you drive. If you have an electrical vehicle, the interesting thing that you can check for the EV charging stations just by searching EV chargers. that will show you the nearest ev charges next to your location this will show us you your disney springs tesla supercharger and couple of other places too it's pretty useful when you drive a electric vehicle carplay map app you know apple introduces a lot of features for their apple map but in addition to that if you want to get a latest traffic updates or road hazards you can install waze on carplay or you can use google map it doesn't matter whatever the map you are using on the primary dashboard it will display the last map that you used and do you know you can use more than one map app at the same time both can give you the notification while you drive as you know the ios carplay supports multiple music app you can use apple music youtube music app or even spotify you can use whatever the app support the carplay see those apps on the carplay screen and you can switch between them on the carplay screen and if you want to see what is the music currently playing you can use this now play button and it will automatically launch to the current music app that's playing on your carplay Even though the CarPlay has a touch screen, you can use other controls for controlling the music or activate the CD on the CarPlay. If you have a additional controls on your steering wheel or on the dashboard, you can try those controls to work with your CarPlay app. You wonder how do you turn on your music app while you enter into the car and start driving? You can automate that with your iPhone. It's a simple automation that can set on your iPhone. Whenever you connect your iPhone with this Lightning port, it will automatically switch to CarPlay and you can automate the music to play. Let us see that part now. Go to Shortcuts and tap on the Automation. Just tap on this plus sign to add a new automation and tap on Create Personal Automation. and tap on carplay and select carplay connects then next play music you may see this next action suggestions or you can go to music app and tap on play music next then ask before running if you think it's really annoying to ask every time your automation works you can disable ask before running and don't ask that so whenever you connect your phone on apple carplay it will immediately kick your music app and play the song for you and of course you can disable that automation if you want it just to go to the automation that you set before when carplay connects and you can see enable this automation 
and turn that off and let's see those in action whenever i get inside the car i will connect my carplay through the lightning port and that will automatically turn on my carplay and the music will start play that you're gonna enjoy thank you for watching this video if you are using android carplay and google assistant while you drive there are a couple of tips that we already published please check the link here for the video we published about best google assistant commands that's going to be useful while you drive meanwhile if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will come back with another video soon